Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video will be a second part of my series Practice With Me. Uh, this time I will show you how I usually practice drawing realistic eyelashes uh, because you ask me about that a lot. Uh, it will be a real-time video and I will explain all the basic steps so you can easily practice with me and get great at drawing realistic eyelashes. The first thing we need to do is sharpening the pencil. The grade depends on how dark you want to draw the lashes, but as we only practice this time, we can use grades between F to 2B. It is up to you. I will take a sketchbook with paper of smoother surface and I will start drawing slightly curved lines. We sharpened the pencil because we need to create very thin lines. Uh, you can also use a mechanical pencil or a sharp edge of a chisel point on a regular pencil. When you look at some real eyelashes, uh, you will see the individual hairs are a little thicker in the root part. Uh, it is just the same as hair, but as the lashes are much shorter, it is also more visible. Uh, so try to push the pencil against the paper a little more in the beginning and release the pressure gradually towards the end of the strokes. So the lines uh, will appear to be thinner in the end. So try to put it all together and practice the lines again and again, thin lines, slightly curved lines, thicker in the root part and thinner in the end, the upper eyelashes and also the lower eyelashes. Uh, do not hurry, uh, try to draw slightly curved pencil strokes very slowly, one by one, stay focused on the nice fine lines. Uh, then try it also in different way as the lashes are on both eyelids, the upper and the lower one and the lashes are growing in various directions. And don't worry when the pencil strokes are not the same. Uh, we're not we're not trying to make them look same because even the natural eyelashes are are very different from each other. I also recommend to hold the pencil closely to the tip of the pencil so you will have much better control over the pencil. Also in this case I don't let the movement come from my arm because we're drawing very little pencil line and it's very detailed so I just let the movement come from my wrist and my fingers and I also try to make my hand very stable and I put it, I usually put my hand on the paper if you don't want to disrupt the paper with your skin oils, uh, I don't mean during the practice, but maybe during the uh, realistic drawing a portrait, then just use a special piece of paper under your drawing hand so you won't smudge anything and you won't dis d damage the paper with uh, the, the oils coming from your skin. Uh, the lashes are usually grouping together, two or more lashes, They're, they just stick together and they're grouping and overlapping, so try to draw them in a natural way. Right now we're trying to practice the lashes already on the eyelid. Uh, you do not have to draw and shade the eyelid in a realistic way. You can just draw a simple line to imagine the edge of the eyelid. Uh, this is the place the eyelashes are growing from. 
um, uh, keep in mind that the lashes are also of various length. Uh, in the inner corner, they're usually a uh, little shorter than in the middle part of the lashes. And we will draw the lashes in one row, uh, one by one, next to each other, very closely next to each other. And also grouping and overlapping. You can see that the lashes are overlapping as there are a lot of them on one eyelid and they're not just straight lines. They're also growing in various directions, uh, it depends on, so on the placement uh, within the row of the lashes. I wanted to show you the lashes on closed eye because I think that you can see it the best way like that. And then just repeat everything to practice it. Uh, it is a great way to practice uh, the eyelashes. Uh, it is great to practice few times a week at least uh, for a few minutes every time to improve faster and to see the results quite quickly. So that is all for me for today. I hope it was helpful. Uh, if you want me to make more of these videos, like sharing more of my practice and my practice routine, just let me know in the comments because I would love to share it with you guys. Just let me know if it's helpful for you. And yeah, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and also make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also turn on the post notifications because you don't want to miss any of my new videos. 
and I will see you in my next video. Bye!